Guard. As Natalie Brand reports, she is the first female officer in U.S. history to lead a branch of the American Armed Forces. History made. Admiral Linda Fagan becomes not only the first woman and mom to serve as Commandant of the U.S. Coast Guard, but the first female officer to lead a branch of the U.S. Armed Forces. I'm honored and humbled to serve as your Commandant. I've always been inspired by the Coast Guard professionals serving in all our missions around the world. It's about time. President Biden, who nominated Admiral Fagan to the position, says her new role sends a message that women have a place in protecting their country at the highest level. There are no doors, no doors closed to women. And I might add, that includes her daughter, Coast Guard Lieutenant. Eileen Fagan. Admiral Fagan, a mother of two daughters, has served across seven continents during four decades in uniform. She graduated from the Coast Guard Academy in 1985, just the sixth class that included women. Admiral Fagan, who was unanimously confirmed by the U.S. Senate, says one of her top priorities will be increasing diversity within the service. We will continue to focus on diversity, inclusion, equity, eliminating barriers. That goal echoed by the outgoing Commandant, Admiral Carl Schultz. To remain the world's best, we must also be the world's most inclusive. Minorities currently make up roughly 30% of active duty Coast Guard personnel and women 15%. But 40% of the incoming U.S. Coast Guard Academy class will be women, now with a new leader charting the course for them and future generations. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. We are going to take a quick break. More news ahead. You're streaming CBS News. An original CBS Reports documentary. 50 shows running, the lights blinking. People fight their entire career to get to Broadway. You've trained your entire